So this is our headquarters, and this is our little island, which for some reason we need to repopulate. Our first goal is 40 population, but that's going to get much bigger. Why are we repopulating this? Well, I like to think there's a zombie invasion, and we are rebuilding the last remaining settlement on Earth. But that's probably not it. Either way, we do need to build an apple farm. Uh, I think this is a pretty good place over here. And actually, for that apple farm to build, we need a wood log. Luckily, our little headquarters here can store up to three logs. It can somehow break all the laws of physics and create matter from nothing. But we won't worry about that right now, as long as we get our wood. So all we need to do is place a road connecting from the headquarters. And then if we put a little node here, that means that we can build another road over to our apple farm. And these little things, I guess they're like trucks. They can transport all your resources to where they need to be. And look, our apple farm's building. Oh, look at it. It's got so many apples on it. Actually, to really make apples, we need water. The closest water source is down the bottom here. That means we need to build a water well. Uh, and this little number we've got shown on here, I think is how efficient it is. Basically, it's how many blocks you've covered underneath. So I think if we put one there, that's okay. Actually, let's just change that to this direction so we can connect the road a bit easier. You can also put little markers down. So if you don't want a node there, but you want to bend the road, you can do it that way as well. Try not to build too many different nodes because you have to stop and start to transfer it between trucks. So the fewer nodes you have, the more efficient things are, I think. Oh, hey, look, this little guy built in no time and he's made his first water, which they're transporting over to the apple farm right now. It tells you how long it's going to take for the resource to be ready as well. So right about now, we should get two apples. Hey, perfect. Right now, we've actually got no use for apples. So that means we need to build something else. I think this lumber camp is probably the next best thing. If we build it here, we can just attach it to this little node. So we may as well do that. You can get apples straight from the source. Fresh as you could want them. So he's going to convert one apple into two logs as well. So we've got our logs covered. But what we really need if we want to start building settlements is a city center. To do that, we need two things that we don't currently have. We need stones and we need wooden planks. So I think we can sort out the wooden planks now that we've got a sawmill. If we build it here. Let's just get rid of this road and we'll build an extra little connection in here. It needs two logs to make one plank. Uh, the last thing we need is some stone. Where's our... I think this is coal, yeah, and this is iron ore over here, so we don't need that. But we do need some stone from up above, so if we get a little stone quarry, this one we can make 100%, which is kind of nice. It looks like it runs on apples as well, so maybe we're actually going to need a second apple farm. They only need water to run, so I think we should be okay to do that. And apples. We have zero population and we have this many apples. Actually, where are all the people on my island living right now? Is this a robot island? Or are the zombies here already? Are we a zombie settlement? Let's not ask too many questions. That does mean we can start to build our population so we can build a city center. Why don't we just start a little city over here on the coastline, nice little sandy city. We need a lot of stone to come down here, five stone actually. Oh yeah, our stone's coming. They're bringing all the wood and the stone over. All right, we've got enough. There we go, our city center. Okay, the next thing we need to get some population are these little guys here, houses. We can only build level one houses at the moment, but it looks like they got to level three and they need all kinds of crazy stuff the higher level they are. We can only build them in this green square of the city center. Building like this is probably a good idea. I basically want these nodes on all of the corners. So maybe something like this would be a good place for us to start. When we connect all of these roads up like so, we can start building these houses. But I think when the houses finish, like this little guy, yeah, the green square extends. So you can actually build houses off of your houses. And if we speed the game up, we're going to have a suburb in no time. This guy's asking for something already. He wants a water and an apple. If he gets his water and an apple, he's happy about it. And our population goes up by one. So we need to make sure we've got an abundance of water and apples to make these people happy. The greed has started already. So why don't we just lay out these last couple of houses? One two, and maybe three. All right, that's our little weird shaped suburb. Kind of looks like an ax. Like this is the ax handle and this is the weird ax head. So our population's going up. It's up to three now. We've got a maximum population of 24 at the moment. As we build the houses, that should go up even more. Okay, our water seems to be a bit slow though. So even though it's not really efficient, let's throw another little waterworks in here and we should be able to connect this up. We've got a little bit of space in between these buildings, but we can do things with that later once we unlock more buildings. I'm going to need another lumber camp very soon. We're running out of trees. 
feel like I can probably squeeze one up this far end for now. All right, so our population's up to 12. We'll just fast forward for a while and see what happens. But it looks like we're pleasing most of the villagers. Definitely the zombie invasion hasn't spread just yet. It's like two apple farms and two water wells are enough to supply this whole little town. If we fully upgrade this, we can actually reach our first goal of 40 population just from this one little town. Hey, there we go. We've got 40 people on this little paradise. Uh, and that means we've unlocked some more buildings actually. Just one little small warehouse. These things are tiny, but they're actually really useful. We can pick any resource, but I think if we set one to apples and the other one to water, then it's going to act as like a little backup storage for our town. Now that this little settlement's done, maybe we can look at getting a second settlement out here somewhere. Why don't we like aim all the way over this side? Maybe if we just throw in a few apple farms and then we can place our water wells. Not going to be very good ones. So that's all of our food and stuff sorted out pretty quickly. Uh, we just need a way for them to get down there. So I guess let's just build a few long roads straight through these trees. We can't go through this rock apparently. So if we just go this way. All right, that should be perfect. We probably need some more lumber up here. So if I build this guy here and then we can build a lumber mill maybe off this side here. They're transporting all of the wood and things like that over to this side, which is great. All of our apple orchards are ready. We've got our water going as well. I think it's time for some peoples. Oh, our population has dropped massively. Every time you fail a quest, your population drops down. So while we're expanding over to the other side of the island, we weren't completing these little quests. If the villagers aren't happy, then we send them over to the main island where the zombies are. It's the only reason the population goes down. So you better like those apples. Anyway, over at this side, if we do this one over here, maybe this can be a little water storage. And we might just do the same over here. It's gonna be apple storage, I guess. We'll make sure we've got a good supply of apples. Okay, now I think we're ready for our next little settlement. Couldn't be a better position for a city center than right in the middle of that forest. And 10. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we're just going to make sure we keep enough resources for everybody. I've just noticed this guy is completely out of wood already. So we're going to have to build another one. We're really deforesting this whole island. I might just delete that other one. Oh, our population got to 60 so quick. And we unlocked some new buildings. After I delete and move our lumber camps, of course we get a forester. Yeah, that'll work for now. What we should probably do now is just move our sawmill and we'll get rid of this other one. Okay, I mean, that kind of works a little bit. It's super messy, but it's fine. It's fine. Our next population goal is 80 and we're already at 77. We're like smashing through this. Okay, oh, look at our apple storage. We're rolling in apples. There's 80. Whoa, look at everything we unlocked. First of all, there's level two houses. But what makes me the most worried is, can you see this middle one where their quest is? They want green barrels of something. I think that's bread and that's possibly paper, all of which we don't have. So we'd have to feed a lot of people to the zombies if we upgraded their houses. And actually to even upgrade the town center to let that happen, we need these items, which I think are, oh yeah, a tool maker, an iron smelter and a stone block. Oh yeah, and that is a paper maker as well. We also unlocked an iron quarry. Of course, we need that to make the iron blocks. A coal quarry. They want apples. And a bakery, a wheat farm, and the green kegs, a juice. So we've got a juice maker. I mean, we've got all these apple orchards here. We may as well just start making juice, right? Actually, we can do one here and maybe we'll just do one down the bottom here. Now we've got a juice maker for every apple orchard on this side. So the other thing we should probably get into is coal. We've got some coal down here and also some iron. So may as well, right? It's 100% efficiency, that one. We sneak two of these down here and then all we need to do is build little roads between them like that. And we'll try and get that over here as fast as possible. Probably makes sense to put our smelter down here too. And what was the other thing we needed? Oh yeah, a paper farm. So to build that, we actually need these stone blocks first. And what was the other thing we needed? Oh, a tool maker. So to make tools, he needs iron bars, log planks, and turns those into two tools. Hold on, if we get rid of this road, maybe we can build this little guy down here, something like that. And then we've got room to build another coal mine. Oh, interesting though, this guy wants apples, but the new iron quarry wants bread. So we've actually got to get our other crops up and rolling too. Wheat farm. Whoa, these are huge. Okay, well, I don't think we can quite squeeze two in. Let's just try and mush them down here and see how big we can actually make these wheat farms. And fit a whole one in here, which is kind of nice. So if we connect that up, then maybe we'll just make a little connection in here. 
These wheat farms just run on water to make wheat, so we should probably just make sure we've got plenty of extra water. But I don't think I want to connect them both up to the main highway. So what we might do is like a little overpass kind of area. Right, and these two connect here and just one attachment to the main road instead of two. Now, our population's definitely taken a hit. Uh, we're down to 65. It looks like it's mainly this side that's taken the hit. I guess we're using a lot of our apples for the mines and things like that now. This one up here, they're still at 40. So they're still self-sufficient up here. They're doing their own thing. All right, this wheat is done down here, actually. So probably before we worry about that, because we've already got two wheat farms up and going, let's build a bakery. Now we've moved this road up a little bit. That should let us build a little sneaky road down here for our bread. Actually, let's just kill this connection to the main road. All of our water is going to go down here, straight to the farms. There we go. Our bakery is up and rolling. They're making bread. Yes, we got our first bread. Okay, let's follow this bread down. Where's it going to go to first? I'm guessing the iron mine, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He sucked that straight up. If I know one thing about iron quarry workers, it's that they like bread. Oh, now we're getting some iron going to the iron smelter. Oh, we've got heaps of resources over at the tool maker. He just needs one more iron ore, and then I think we can start to build it. Perfect. We're going to get tools. It's the birth of a great zombie nation. Wait, no. No zombie. There's no zombies here. Look at all these tools. Right, and for the moment, what do we actually need tools for? Oh, the other thing we haven't built yet. This guy, first of all, the stone blocker. He converts a stone and a tool into a stone block. We can actually squeeze it in here, so may as well. This is where all our little industry is happening, I guess. Right next to our farmland, just to make sure everyone gets super polluted. The paper maker needs iron and those new blocks we're making to build, and then it needs logs and tools to make paper. I think a good place for it is here. Since we've got loggers so close over here, why don't we just use these guys? And we actually forgot to build foresters over here. So let's do that now. I'm going to throw in three foresters here. So that's plenty. Now we're actually failing some population things over here. And there's nothing in our backup storage. It looks like water maybe is the issue. Maybe we'll build another little water supply up here to feed into this. All right, here's your water supply, you greedy buggers. I'll connect it straight up to the warehouse. Apples and water right next to your suburb can go straight into your storage. Then you can't complain about anything. Also, I should be building storage for all these new resources we're making. Let's put a water storage down here. That kind of makes sense. When we convert the town to level two, we're going to need to have a backup for the apple juice, the bread, and also paper. So I might just build a bit of storage for all of those. So this one will make apple juice. This is all over the shop, but this is what we're doing for right now. This one will be bread and this one will be paper. Maybe some supplies will start getting in there. Who knows? Okay, all of this is really backed up. So what is the problem here? Oh, okay, the problem is we're not getting things out of storage, which could mean it's time to start upgrading our city. Just checking in with our little city over here. These guys are doing so good. They're like the star performers. They don't need anything from these other guys. And probably we should just cut them off because they seem to be shipping things over this way. Like there's a little bit of water coming over here for these needy guys. We've got enough going now that we can increase this though. So if we do go up to level two with a city center, it means we can get 80 population out of this instead of just 40. So they're going to ship over a whole bunch of this new stone, six iron and five tools before we can even upgrade. Oh, actually, I thought these were going to take a while to fill up, but we're full of paper, bread and apple juice. I mean, what else do you really need? All right, it's happening. We're going to level two. Can't wait to get you guys off apples and water. We can build more houses. That's good. Can we upgrade these houses? Each one needs two tools, an iron, and a block to upgrade. Why don't we upgrade one house first and just see what happens? This guy's going to be our guinea pig. He's got his stone. He's got his tools. The iron's here. And he's upgrading. Oh, he's level two. We did it. A level one house holds four people. A level two house holds 20 people. That's such a big difference. It's like an apartment block that apparently thrives on apple juice, bread, and paper. I don't know what they're up to in there. The bread and everything seems to be going really good. We're backed up on coal and wheat. What I'm going to actually do, I'm going to swap this over to bread and I'm going to swap this other one over to paper. Oh no, we just failed a quest for this guy. Actually, I might make this little area a second storage area. So let's have you there, you there. Oh, I think this actually works if we do it like this. Oh, that works so much better. Why didn't I do that before? I don't know what this nightmare is that we've created. Yeah, our population shot up though. We're at 112 now. We're maxed out. We're failing all the level one quests, but we are doing the level two quests now. So let's start converting over again. Okay, this is an absolute 
nightmare. Look at all the stuff trying to get through here. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not a city planner. There's no more buildings for us to build right now until we get to 200 population. And then it looks like we can get things like a cow farm. Oh, and a butcher. But also restaurants and a milk factory. We're, we're very dependent on cow farms in the next stage, it seems like. Let's just see if I can squeeze in a couple of level two houses down here. Maybe here as well. This is a nice little place to hide one. Oh, we reached 200 population already. Wow, that was super quick. The next goal is 300. So we're really smashing it. This city over here is an absolute hot mess, but it's got 168 people in it and it's growing rapidly. I'm actually going to increase all of the rest of the houses. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. This little city over here, they're just kind of living in their little paradise. They've been so stable. Why don't we create a little bit of tension on the island? I think maybe we should separate them now. We've got this thriving metropolis brewing over on this side and this little farming town over here. They're really going to butt heads at some stage. But we did unlock a charcoal maker for whatever we need that for and also a mid warehouse. One day we'll be able to build trains, boats and helicopters. This is like a bigger storage area. This thing looks huge. It actually fits really nicely in our storage area too. All right, great. Our population's 248. It's climbing so quick. I think we'll leave it there. Put in your votes in the comments. Will this island survive the zombie apocalypse? Love you. Mwah. Okay, bye.